This style of cooking is 90% preparation. 90% preparation. Nothing is sponsored, by the way, on my videos. Hello and welcome to No Chefs Here. Today I want to cook something using black fermented beans. And I should specify, those are soybeans. It is such a simple and basic ingredient, but it truly turns your dish into something very, very special. I can't wait, I'm excited, let's get to it. So here's the meat I have, a quarter of a pound of this steak, decent thickness. Note the direction in which the grains are running this way, so we have to cut against them. Go ahead and cut as thin as possible. You can put meat in the freezer for about 45 minutes and then cut it, but I never do. As long as you have a sharp knife, should be no issue. Transfer meat into a bowl. I'm gonna go wash everything, be right back. Next, for marinating the meat, need Shaoxing cooking wine. Some cornstarch which is a great meat tenderizer. Go ahead and mix. So you see, no liquid on the bottom. And now this meat pieces, they stick together in order to prevent that. Some sesame oil, just a small drizzle. You don't have to use sesame oil. You can use regular cooking oil with no flavor. I don't cook meat out of refrigerator. Now I'll set it aside to come up to room temperature to cook more evenly. Next, the making of the stir fry sauce. Here I have a tablespoon of oyster sauce, about a teaspoon black pepper paste. It looks like this. You can pause the video, take a screenshot if you want to pick some up. Quarter of a tablespoon brown sugar and a third to a quarter of a tablespoon white pepper. Got a cup of hot water. Now just mix this. Now the essentials of this dish. I've got a lot of garlic. And these are fermented black beans. It's about a tablespoon. It is this product that I'm using. Nothing is sponsored, by the way, on my videos. But in case you want to pick some up, take a screenshot of this. Take it with you to the grocery store. So now, here's the deal. Right before you feel like you finished with the fineness of garlic, I'm gonna add these black beans in here. So, give it a look. It doesn't have to be super perfectly combined, just as long as they're mixed in somewhat evenly. For the vegetables, it is your choice. I have a green and red bell pepper. Two green onions. Set this aside. Don't throw this away, of course, use it for salad or something, yeah? Let's go with the same amount of the green one. Last but not least, I have like a half tablespoon cornstarch and you add water to it. Two tablespoons here. You could alternatively add cornstarch right into the stir fry sauce, but I like the adjustability. You know, you can, uh, you can thicken as much as you want or as little as you want. Finally, we're ready to cook. This style of cooking is 90% preparation. 
on a high heat I have my pan no flavor cooking oil my case canola be generous this time because I'm going to shallow fry the meat if you stick a bamboo chapstick in your pan and the bubbles start to form you're ready So I'm going to give it a little bit of time to hang out on one side. And when it's done, out into a paper towel. So here we go. Take a look at this. Got some color on the edges. Let it drain in the paper towel. So I strained this oil. You can use a brand new oil but I feel like this one is very flavorful. Clean wok and use the oil only. Let's go with like a tablespoon. And it comes out clean. Garlic and fermented beans. You just want to give them a toast a little bit. Oh. Wow, it smells fantastic, I'm telling you. Once you feel like garlic is starting to brown, add the meat back in. Give the sauce a mix again. And depending on how saucy you want this dish, add some. Let this come to a bubble bell peppers I just want bell peppers to heat through but still be crunchy cornstarch solution wake it up a little bit look how nicely this sauce is thickened perfect Onions. And this, my friends, is done. Well, this concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. And whether or not you like black fermented beans, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, wish you nothing but the best.